All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS South Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we we'll all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakodash. The barns are apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching us the truth <laughs> according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel today through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. And we're basically just going to go into a lesson on like what what shall we be putting our time into you know what should we be you know doing in these last days you know should we be trying to build up our bank accounts should we be trying to you know uh get overtime on the jobs so we could uh stack it up you know have thousands of dollars in our bank account you know or should we be trying to invest our time our, our energy to get this knowledge, you know, because at the end of the day, this knowledge is the most valuable thing on the earth, you know. Real quick, get on, um, real quick. I know you have not get Matthew six and thirty three. Because mm -hmm. with this knowledge, ultimately, you know, comes everything else. <coughs> but you know, this is um mainly in the time of Jacob Shaw. I just want to get this one scripture. This is Matthew chapter six verse thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. And what's the kingdom of the Most High? This knowledge, the understanding of the Bible, you know? So the scripture is saying, seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. So you're supposed to be seeking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures first before anything else, you know? Brothers always say, uh, put the Lord first, you know? Seek this knowledge before you do anything else. Yeah, bro? It says... In his righteousness. In his righteousness, which is keeping the commandments. Go ahead. And all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, all these things shall be added unto you. See, I'm glad I told you to move. All these things shall be added unto you. You know, whether it be, you know, <clears throat> you know, a monetary gain, whether it may, may, whether it may be a food. You know, it tells you in uh, upper chapters, you know, basically, how about Shimon Shah is going to take care of everything else. Read that one more time from the top. This is St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High uh -huh. and his righteousness. Yeah, the kingdom of the Most High. So what? That's, that needs to be the first thing on our agenda. What does it tell you in Proverbs? That wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. You know, when you look at that word principal, it means chief, most important. Mm -hmm. So wisdom, knowledge, understanding the scriptures is the most important thing. Go ahead. And all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Any more than that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get Isaiah 33 and 6. And then get that Proverbs 11 4 after that. This is Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge, you know, with it being the most... The the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Scripture is the most valuable asset you can have, you know? All hell is about to break loose, and the only way you're going to be able to be saved is with this knowledge, you know? That's how valuable wisdom is. That's able to save you in a time of trouble. That's able to save you in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know? And it's Jacob's trouble is described as the time that has never been seen before on the face of earth. You know what? It's going to be so bad that you cannot describe it with any other time in history, you know? But that's how invaluable the knowledge is. Go ahead. Read from top. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, you know, shall be stability, shall be our faith. You know, it's going to keep us stable, of a stable mind, us having that faith in the words of Yahweh Shema Shai. Go ahead. It says, in strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. And where do we store this knowledge? Are, are we storing this knowledge up, you know, in our bank accounts? Are we storing this knowledge up under our, our um, under our, our mattresses at home? No, we're storing this uh, knowledge up in our minds, you know, to where we can easily uh, make We can easily access it, you know. Here it is when the, when the dollar crashes here in America and these people rush to the banks a lot of people aren't going to be able to access their money, you know? But, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people aren't going to be able to access that money. But what we're going to be able to access the knowledge of the scriptures, you know, it would be the Lord's will, you know? Mm -hmm. 
The fear of Yahweh Bashima was shy. It's his treasure. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So the knowledge of the Heavenly Father is his treasure, you know? Mm -hmm. So we have the treasures. We have he we have the heavenly treasures, you know? Mm -hmm. Any more than that, bro? Mm -hmm. Get that Proverbs. <coughs> you know, we got to uh, hit these points, you know? And Lord's willing, it's blessing is edifying, you know? This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. No, get that 11 4. 11 4. Um, richest okay. prophet not. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in a dead ram. Yeah, what well, it's not talking about the riches of the scriptures because we just read that the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of scriptures have been the ability of thy time. It's talking about the carnal riches, you know, riches. It's talking about these FRN notes, you know, it's talking about your Bugattis, you know, because those have asset values, you know, it's telling you your riches that you labor for on this side, you know, that you don't labor towards the Lord aren't going to be able to profit you, you know, they're not going to be able to do you any good when the dollar is crashing, mm -hmm. you know, people are going to be using the dollar bill, you know, uh, uh, you can have a stack of money, you can, you can might use it to sit on it. You know, to burn it, to keep you warm, to wipe your butt. I was just thinking that. To blow your nose, you know, to wipe your hands off, you know, because it might have something on it. You know, that's what, it ain't nothing but paper, you know. That's how these people are going to be treating these uh, FRN notes very soon. Read from top. This is Proverbs at 11 verse 4. And feel free, China. Okay. This is Proverbs at 11 verse 4. Riches profit not in a dead wrath. Yeah, so wrath is, com it's like it. wrath is coming, you know? Go ahead, bro. But righteousness, the living from death, and that's right. You know, the righteousness, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the scriptures, you know, which is keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to get you delivered from death. Speak up, bro. You see, um, because, you know, um, the times they were entering into, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, who the world even calls God and Jesus, so called black man, you know, they're bringing a whole bunch of plagues and calamities. Upon the face of the earth, you know, you're going to have race riots going on, martial law going on, famine of food and thirst going on, whole bunch of diseases, you name it. You see, the only thing that's going to deliver you from all of that stuff is your the righteousness, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Yeah, we just read it. Seek first the kingdom of the high in his righteousness, you know, which is able, it said, the righteousness delivered from death, you know. Death is coming. The Lord said, Behold, I send plagues. I, I shall send plagues upon the world, you know? You know, uh, famine. Um, you know, and I'm roughly paraphrasing. What was the end of it? Death and destruction, you know? So the Lord sending plagues. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what the Lord sending, you know? But you having this knowledge, you are, you are, you are going to be able to, uh, to preserve yourself from that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that was it, right? Yeah. You go to the next one? You in that Proverbs 3? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. yep. Sorry, 13, just read on down. <coughs> now you good. So what? You know, that's why this knowledge is so valuable. That's why this knowledge is so important. This knowledge can save you from death. You know, the riches of the wisdom, the, the riches of the wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Happy is the, the man... They find the wisdom. Yeah, scriptures say they without the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of scriptures is miserable, you know? So happy is the man that findeth wisdom, that findeth, you know, the understanding of the Bible. Because look, he's going to realize that this is the most uh, valuable thing on the planet. You know, that this is the most valuable thing anyone could have. Mm, and real quick, say happy is the man that find the wisdom. That's going into an Israelite man, so called Negro Latin Americans. So happy is the Israelite man, so-called Negro Latin Americans, to find the understanding of this word. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, and, and the man that get of understanding. Uh-huh. Verse 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. You know, and that's right. You see, the merchandise of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures is better than the merchandise of silver. You see, because what? The brother just read, we just read in Isaiah 33 and 6 that what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding these scriptures is what's going to keep you stable. You see, so the merchandise of um, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding these scriptures is better than the merchandise of silver. You see, because what? Soon coming, the economy is going to collapse. 
You see, and this money is not going to mean anything. The only thing that's going to keep you stable is the, is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Your money is not going to keep you stable. I mean, money is not the problem, you know? You see niggas in this society, they got money, but what, they still act like fools, you know? I got a quick one real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things, you know? And riches are something to be desired in this life. But the scripture is saying, what is, what is more valuable? What is more, you know, precious than wisdom? Nothing, you know? Nothing more uh, precious, more valuable than the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of scriptures. Ultimately, you know, they with the wisdom is on the good side of Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know? I don't care how much money you got in your bank account. If you don't got the Lord on your side, then you're nothing. That's it, Matt. Okay. Um, this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. Mm -hmm. And the gain thereof of fine gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's more important to get the gain of the knowledge, understanding of scripture. It's more important to get the the gain of, uh, you know, these dark breakdowns, these different parables that are written in the scriptures. You know, it's more important to get, you know, to watch a video than, than, to, um, than to labor for gold, than to labor for this knowledge. You know, of course, there's a balance to everything in life, brothers. You know, scripture say you don't work, you don't eat. You know, so you got to work. We are slaves in this captivity. But the first thing we should be doing is seeking the knowledge of the scriptures, you know. Most definitely got to have jobs, you know. Apostles said that, you know, every brother in GMS need to have a job. Any more than that? Yep. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15. She is more precious than rubies. Yeah, she is more precious than rubies. And rubies are very precious, you know. You, you got people out there in Africa. You got people killing themselves over rubies, you know, and diamonds. You know, they have that movie Blood Diamonds. Yep. You know where they were. They, the dude basically, if I'm, if I'm mistaken, the dude killed his best friend. I, did he? I'm not sure if he killed the guy at the end of the movie just for the diamonds. You know, mm -hmm. that's how uh, valuable. Uh, that's how um, valuable diamonds are. You know, where it make you want to kill someone. But the scripture is saying she's more precious than uh, than rubies. And all the things that thou can desire. And all the things that man may desire. You know, a man might desire a car. You know, a Bugatti, a man might desire, you know, a big booty wife, you know. He might desire his own uh, penthouse suite, you know, with maids in it. You know, all the things that can be desired, you know. Go ahead. Are not to be compared to her. Yeah, are not to be, are not even, you know, worthy to be com to be compared on to wisdom, you know. You cannot even buy the, you can't buy the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, you know. It has to be given to you as a gift. That's how precious it is, you know. That there's no a uh, place where you can just buy the understanding of the truth. Mm -hmm. Get Proverbs 8 um, mm -hmm. and 10. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one real yeah. quick. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 8. I prefer her before scepters and thrones. In esteem, riches, nothing in compared of her. Yeah, so what? You know, this is wisdom of Solomon. This is King Solomon. You know, he said he preferred the wisdom. He preferred the understanding of the scriptures more than scepters and thrones. You know, in esteemed riches, you know. Because what? He knew that without the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, he couldn't, um, he couldn't uh, rule a kingdom, you know. And it reads, Neither compare hot... Ne so like it, neither compared I unto her any precious stone because all gold you know gold is very valuable in this life because all gold in respect of her is as little sand and silver shall be counted as clay before her yes yeah, so or what you know clay you know clay and compare the gold you know our silver is not very uh, valuable, you know. But what? That's how much. That's how much more gold. Gold is probably the most valuable thing you can have on this planet. One of the most valuable things you can have on this planet, you know. And uh, wisdom is much more than that, you know. You got gold, you know, way down here, and you got the wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Hashem that's reaching all the way to the skies, you know. 
This is Proverbs chapter 8. That's it on that? Yes. Like it. Nigga, this bro. is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. Certain. God. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 10. Receive my instruction. Yeah, receive the instruction of Yahweh by Shema Shai that's being brought up by the prophets of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, the men of Great Millstone. Most definitely start more apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, in the men on down who taught us the truth. Go ahead. And not silver. Yeah, receive my instruction and not silver, you know. Because what? Also, you know, you have Esau, you know, he might come with some bribes, you know, stop teaching the truth, you know. Yeah, you receive the instruction of the Lord. It's better than that silver, you know, that you might be a bribe with, you know. Go ahead. And, and knowledge. It's like I'm reading from this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 10. Receive my instruction and not silver mm -hmm. and knowledge rather than choice gold. Mm, go ahead. Verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. Mm -hmm. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Yeah, so here it is. Precept upon precept. You know, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. The scriptures is telling you that the scriptures, you know, the knowledge and understanding of scriptures is the most uh, important thing to uh, get, you know? And those who get it are going to realize that, you know? So, brothers, hold on to your wisdom. Hold on to the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Finish out. Verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. Now I jump down to your verse. You said verse 19, I believe. 19. Oh, yes. I like it. Very good. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 19. Mm hmm My fruit is better than gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, than fine gold. Mm-hmm. And my revenue than choice silver. Yeah, so what? Here it is. You want to see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what? You know, here it is countless times. So, brothers, just realize the the thing that we have is the most uh, valuable thing. So, we want to take care of it. You know, you want to... uh be sharpening your sword day to day you know uh getting this knowledge while the while we still have that leisure time we still have the opportunity to get it you know season uh the moment to get the understanding of the truth you get proverbs 16 proverbs 16 and 16 mm -hmm. and we'll close down that this is proverbs at the 16 verse 16 how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Mm-hmm. And to get understanding rather than choice, rather to be chosen than silver. Read it again. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Yeah, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? It's much better, you know? The, the gold is not going to be able to save you from the wrath of the Lord, you know, that's coming to this place. Only the knowledge will. Only the knowledge of the scriptures. And to get understanding, rather to be chosen than silver. Yeah, they're rather to get, um, and to get understanding, rather to be chosen than silver, you know. So you should rather choose, you know, to get the understanding of the scriptures than to get silver, you know. Is much uh, more important. You know, they got the one ounce of gold is worth about fifteen hundred dollars. You know, that's a lot. It's it's not for for such a small amount. You know, that's that's a lot of money. You know, you know if I'm if I'm reading this right, you know, gold spot prices gold price per ounce fifteen hundred dollars. You know, today <coughs> a gram. You know, a gram, bro. There's 28 grams in an ounce. It's fifty dollars, you know. So what? The knowledge of the scriptures is not is so valuable you can't even buy it, you know. With that, you know, Lord's willing, brothers will edify it. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, scriptures say what the um the knowledge of the heavenly Father is better than weapons of war. You know, it says uh, scriptures say uh money is a defense. You know, but the um, but what the the ex the difference between money being the defense of wisdom that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. You know, but Lord's willing, Lord's willing, brothers, edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakar Kodash. The one who our apostles and elders are great millstone of teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.